Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today I'm going to show you this dish known as Asam Pedas Stingray. Ingredients are very simple. I have with me over here 850 grams of stingray, one whole piece of pearl brinjal which I've cut into wedges like this, six or seven pieces of this lady's finger cut into half, two tomatoes quartered, a quarter of a pineapple, four slices of tamarind, five cloves of garlic cut into pieces like this which I'll make into a paste later together with the rest of the chili, ten pieces of shallots, two lemongrass using only a white part cut into pieces like this, 15 pieces of dried chili soaked and cut up, five pieces of fresh chili and I've also added in three pieces of our chili party because I want my gravy to be spicier. Also over here, I have with me the juice of two limes, half a tablespoon of curry powder, one tablespoon of lachin powder which I've dry toasted and actually uh, I've crumbled them up like this, two tablespoons of uh, turmeric powder. I used four tablespoons of this tamarind together with three cups of water soaked and then I took out the seeds and everything and this is the liquid left, approximately about three cups. So now we are going to blend all the spices together. I'm going to put in the, the shallots and the fresh chili first. This will be the easiest to blend because they all come up with, um, they have more juices as compared to the rest of the ingredients. After this, I'll just add in the rest. Bit by bit, I'll add them in. Oil. Also, I forgot to mention, I have actually added in also one tablespoon of ginger, young fresh ginger, which I chop up also, is inside there also. A little bit more oil. Okay. Finally, the paste has been uh, blended into a paste. It takes a little bit more time because my processor is not powerful enough. So, <laughs> if you, if there's anyone kind enough to uh, sponsor a powerful processor, thank you. So now, let's go ahead and fry this chili paste. Now, in our hot wok itself, put some oil inside. Put in the chili paste as well as the belacian. Fry them around a little bit. Put in the curry powder as well as the turmeric powder. Now the pot is a little bit too dry, you can always add in a little bit more oil. Now the chili will be ready when you see actually uh, oil uh, coming out from the chili itself. It's, I think that would need about approximately 20 to 30 minutes around there. So when you see that, I mean, the colour has changed and uh, oil is coming out, actually you can see bubbling from inside the chili. That means it's done ready. What we're going to do now is we're going to put in the tamarind water. All of it. Right here. Mix them up well. I'm going also to add in the tamarind peel, four pieces of them, as well as the pineapple. I like the fresh and uh, fruity taste of the pineapple. That's the reason why I'm adding that in. For the lime juice, I'll suggest putting in half first. Don't put in everything. If it's uh, not sourish enough for you, then you just add the rest. If you feel that the liquid is a little bit too thick and you want more gravy, no problem. You can add in another one or two cup of water. Just going to add in another perhaps one cup more. Remember we haven't added in any sugar or salt yet. Later, towards the end, then we'll add that in. Okay? Leave this to boil before we put the fish in. So I'm just going to cover this up. Now as you can see, this beautiful gravy is boiling right now. Put in the Beautiful. I love this dish because currently um, it's raining now in Singapore and this dish to go with a warm bowl of rice is I tell you orgasmic is one of my favorite so in goes the veggie the bring jaws as well as the ladies fingers just spread them around now we cover this up and let it boil for approximately around 10 to 12 minutes or until the fish is cooked. Okay, 12 minutes has passed. Let's have a look. Beautiful. Right, now to add the seasoning, salt and pepper, uh, salt and sugar, sorry. 
going to put in one teaspoon of salt first and one teaspoon of this uh, sugar. So I'm just going to mix the gravy around to see and we are going to taste this. Wow, really, really good. And do another teaspoon of sugar and half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, time to dish this up. And ladies and gentlemen, this is my version of the Asam Pedas Stingray. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.